It's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home, and I've been stalking AliExpress Choice Picks now for months. Man, if you want handheld gaming consoles, that's easy. If you want a tinge unit for your neck, that feels good. How about a mobile phone telescope that doesn't really work? How about a knife for everyday carry or maybe just a simple Sterling engine? You gotta check out this video, because I got stuff on stuff on stuff I'm gonna do stuff with. Lots and lots of stuff. So like and subscribe, it really tickles my pickle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's get to the video. First off, we have the full color LCD screen, more brighter support game card. None of that's actually true. There's no place for a game card, there's no AV cables, and these are standard AAA batteries. But let's turn it on. Wonderful screen, by the way. I, that's a three inch screen, okay. <laughs> we got Circus Charlie, Tank, Kung Fu, Bubble, Lunar Ball, Twin Card, Nuts Milk, which sounds weird. Air Umbrella and Mappy. I don't know what Mappy is, but let's see if we can hit the right one there. I hope that's the right one. Mappy, okay, start that. And you do get sound. And oh my goodness, at the quality of that kind of gameplay, I don't even really know what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, I, I'm... I'm you know, I died. Anyways, I don't see any backlit anything. That's fun and dandy. How much do you think I paid for that? You guys can guess, but it's actually $3. $3. Now, this costing $3, I figured $1.79 would be even more interesting. And apparently there's 9,999 games in this little console here. So let's turn it on. Ooh, wow. It's just Tetris. I don't know why it says that you get that many games, but you don't. It's just Tetris. Next. If you're really into torture, you might want to try out this tinge unit for your neck. There's two electrodes here. Um, I had to change the batteries in this thing. I wore it down. But it doesn't actually feel very... It's not on. I don't know. Where's the... Ah! Fuck! And that is actually pretty strong. And anyways, uh, <laughs> let's move on from that. That is really high. Why is... Ah! Jesus Christ. When I picked up a ukulele for $1.79, I'll be honest, I didn't expect much. But I did think it would be a bit bigger. Now you do get some extra strings because the tuning pegs actually function. Uh, you do get a pick, of course, and uh, some instructions on how to play this little thing. Which, by the way, yes, you can somehow play this. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see. That's Beethoven's fifth. I love that. Speaking of love, it says love on it. Because love your neighbor as you love yourself, damn it. Next, pick this here uh, knife up. They do actually have some switch blades on certain sites. You uh, want to be careful carrying those because you will get into some deep doo-doo carrying that. Uh, this was $1.79, uh, so it said it was a Damascus knife. I think it's simply a Damascus-style knife. That is not Damascus steel. That is just some sort of screen printing. Uh, but for $1.79, it's okay. It's a bit light. Uh, they do include this uh, carrying case, this holster for it. I think if they got rid of this and just made the quality a little bit better I'd be more happy with it but for $1.79 you can't really beat that I did pick up another knife which is a feather knife now this knife uh, has a really nice case with it it's very thick and uh, for three dollars it's not too bad it's a bit ugly I will admit that is probably one of the ugliest knives I've seen but some people are into this style um, one side's sharp the other one isn't so it's not a dagger style it does have a split handle which I think is interesting but like I said nothing I would personally carry um my god that case sucks next up we have some kinky lingerie i'm just kidding this is a chest holster for uh, whatever you want it does extend for big fellas like me uh you can put whatever you want in there carry it under your shirt and you can put your weed in there not a big deal two dollars and that's and done and over with this on the other hand also costs the same but it's much more interesting to me so this is for watering your plants you actually hook this to a two liter bottle, screw it on where the cap goes, and uh, you can spray pesticide, you can spray THC, you can spray your neighbor in the face with urine. Uh, next up, we have lock picks, which we will not be using on anything illegal in the future, but they are pretty cool. Uh, that, by the way, is $1.79. They are very flimsy and very sharp. So if you wanted to uh, take these into prison, you could probably shank someone with them. I would not advise that, however. Next up, we have a battery IP camera. 
which is a great way of saying that. I ordered two of these because I ordered at two different times and I thought they might be interesting and useful for security means. They actually come with a uh, link to some software you can get on your iPhone that will uh, hook this camera up strictly to your iPhone. However, you can also, of course, hook it up to Wi-Fi and view it anywhere in the world. And no, they are not submergible in water. Uh, you can't put these in a toilet, you freaking pervert. Next up, we have the mobile phone telescope, which by the way, does not work very well at all. I tried getting a couple pictures of this um, while I was in the mountains and it just does not really work well. Now, the way you hook it up to your phone is actually by taking the cap off, screwing it into this little clothespin deal and sticking it onto your phone. Does this work? Uh, no. Next up for $2, something very useful for me because I test and repair old games all the time. It's a Wii to HDMI converter. You know, GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2, and Dreamcast consoles all used AV cables. Uh, nowadays, of course, we're using HDMI. Now this hooks directly, it's proprietary, of course, hooks directly to your Wii and gives you HDMI plus the audio. They have these for PlayStation 2 and all the consoles I listed. So of course, it's very useful for me because I'm testing games all the time, but if you want to drag that Xbox out of the closet and you hook it up to your new flat screen, you really might want to check those out. That was two bucks AliExpress. Also for $1.79, I picked up these blades, which I don't know if I'm ever going to use, but they are pretty fun to use. I mean, I might take up carving. You know, I'm an artistic guy. I've painted before. I've done all kinds of things like that. Might do some wood carving. Wouldn't that be fun to see on the channel? And you can put your weed in there. Speaking of cutting things, this right here, my friends, is actually a saw. Now, if you're camping, hunting, hiking, prepping, whatever, you are not carrying around a pole saw, most likely. This thing will get limbs out of trees from really far away, and you can actually attach some nylon rope to these and uh, get some limbs from 20 feet up or so. Now when I put up an antenna in a tree, the coaxial cable sometimes will get caught in a small limb and it's just annoying. So you can throw that up in a tree, take that limb out, and uh, not have to waste your time with a pole saw and gasoline. Next up, we actually have a voltage amperage meter, which I'm going to use for a radio, but you can use it for anything you want. LEDs, computer, whatever. Uh, pretty nice. That was $2 as well as the saw. I forgot to mention that. This, I'm actually going to get some footage from in this video to show you. This is actually a very, very small camera. If you wanted to actually go into your nose or up your butt, you definitely could with that. Isn't that fun? That tiny, 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 tiny little camera there. Oh, it's so cute. I tell you what it is. It is, I tell you for sure. It took a little while to get it working, but as you can see, the endoscope does actually zoom in quite a bit. Those are balls, by the way. Well, let's just go up my nose really quick. Oh, that, oh, God, oh, God, that is gross. That was $3.79. I have also an LCD writing board. This was $1.79, and I thought this was pretty cool. If you're, if you're trying to teach them something, your ABCs, you click on this button here. It has a watch battery in it, a button cell, and it's gone. And it will reset after about three seconds, and you can draw on it again and write, Hi! My name is Kyle, and I like cookies. And that's all right there. It's just really cursive, and you can't tell what that is because you're not smart as I am. Next up, we have a temperature controller. And uh, this is very good if you want to grow some plants indoors where you don't want the authorities to look. I might use it for a burner, a kicker, something like that. But for $1.79, I thought I can find something fun to do with that. Next up for $1.79 is this GPS tracker. Now, I haven't used this before, but I'm sure that it'll send me to some scammy website where I can download a virus when I do want to use it. Stick it to your wife's car, figure out why she's disappeared to the grocery store eight times that day. I don't know, but it seems fun, and for a dollar seventy-nine, you just can't beat it. And perhaps you can use it for an anti-theft device. That might be a really good idea, actually. I showed this in my last video. This was also a dollar seventy-nine. It is some sort of toy or teaching device, as you could say that comes with uh, all sorts of little organs that you can throw in there and all this, and that is in the wrong place, I think, isn't it? Nope, mate, I, nah, I don't really, ha ha ha, I failed uh, geography anyway. Ah, uh, but doesn't that look creepy? 
Yes, it do. Next up for $2.79, this is a TDS and EC meter, a total dissolved solid and electrical conductivity meter for people who are growing hydroponically. This right here will test out your tap water, any water of course, and give you the amount of total dissolved solids in parts per million, which of course, if you're growing plants hydroponically, that of course is your nutrients. And for $2.79, I would grow things hydroponically just to test that thing out more. Now this is $1.79 as well. This is a 5 amp 12 volt LED power supply. Now I'm not going to be using this for LEDs, but I really want to stick this on the back of a mobile radio and uh, see if we can use it as a base station. Now I know this is going to be dirty, I know this is going to be spiky and noisy, so I think with a couple capacitors and some shielding perhaps, we can get this thing working up to par. I'm really excited about that for the next couple videos and uh, I will enjoy that. Next up and lastly, we have the Sterling engine which did not come from the choice picks. This was actually uh, something I bought separate from that. This actually cost $18. You know, it didn't actually come with the candle. It came with a little uh, alcohol burner here and a wick. And uh, of course, let me change the camera angle so you can see this a little better. Uh, just see the movement of it uh, because it is really smooth and I am impressed with the quality of it. I'm gonna go ahead and light this thing. It does take a while to come up to temp, maybe a minute or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our multimeter out and we can test the output of that generator. Now, if we did change the gearing on that generator, it will give us a different output. Right, it's been going for about a minute there, warming up and let's give it a kickstart. Oh, there we go. Oh, it wants to, it wants to, come on, bud. And the LED is actually starting to light up too. Oh, it's cranking along, just barely. It's getting faster. That's just cool. Putting out about 2.3 to 2.5 volts, which is kind of what I expected considering it takes that to light these LEDs, but two of these together could actually theoretically charge a phone, which is a video I'd like to actually get to eventually, but I don't know if anyone would like to see that. If you would, leave it in the comments. I'd really like to do that video and get another one of these. What do you think? Did I buy too much stuff? Anyways, hope you liked the video, so like, subscribe, notify, comment, share, and all that YouTuber stuff. Anyways, until next video, until next time, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. I'll see you later.